We will now go over the fourth exercise, which is how to visually check your data using a 2D histogram. These are also called corellograms, florograms, or scatter plots. To do this, um, we will keep using the same image uh, that we've worked on for the past three exercises. And now we're going to run the Biop Jacob plugin. To do that, we're going to go to the plugin menu, go to the Biop section, go to image analysis, and then go to Biop Jacob. So if this going through uh, many um, sort of menus and some menus is annoying to you or you want a faster approach, you can go to utilities, open control panel, and this has the entire menu structure of Fiji. So you can um, open up, for example, the plugins menu, open up Biop, and then in Biop you can open up um, image analysis. So if you double click Biop Jackup here, this will have the same effect as navigating all the way into the menu structure here. So it is a convenient way of, of finding a shortcut uh, to do this. Another way you can quickly access commands that you have recently used in Fiji is if you press the, uh, the uh, number nine on the keyboard, this will have the list of recent commands that you have used. And so if you you see that you are reusing something constantly, this is uh, something that you can open up. And then uh, if you um, double click, for example, on Biop Jackup, it will open that the same as if you click here, or if you go to the plugins to the Biop Jackup uh, option. If you want uh, a 2D histogram of this image, how do you get that from Biop Jackup? So um, you're going to have this window. You have to say which one will be channel A and B, and I've just set them to one and two. You're going to have to establish how you're going to uh, set a threshold for channel A and a threshold for channel B. This will not affect what happens in the 2D histogram, but it will affect the masks that um, this, this plugin will show you. So I've just used, as an example, manual thresholds with the values of thresholds that were used in the paper from which this uh, data comes from. And then every single option here I've left unchecked except the get fluorogram option. When we now click OK, hmm, uh, this plugin creates the following. This image is uh, an image of the first channel, the second channel, and an overlay. Critically, the, the contrast with which it is shown is the contrast which this image had during the display. So you want to make sure that if you want it to look a certain way, you make adjustments in contrast before you run by Jacob. These uh, masks are the masks that result from using whatever thresholding method or thresh and or thresholding values you put in the plugin. So these are the pixels that are above uh, an intensity of 40. These are the ones that are above an intensity of 114 in this case. And these are the ones that are um, above both thresholds. These, This right here is the 2D plot where you can see that we are plotting green pixel is sort of channel two or green pixel intensity as a function of magenta pixel intensity here. These lines correspond to the masks uh, that were set. And uh, if you look at this, you'll see that there is something that is very bright in green, but kind of sort of dark in the magenta. And then there's another cluster of pixels that are quite bright in magenta, but dark in green. If you look at the image, you can see that it's very likely that this corresponds to most of these pixels and that this corresponds to most of these pixels. So this can be a simple way of, of taking a quick look and, and, and checking visually what is going on in the image. You'll see that the plugin uh, also generates uh, some a results window and a log, and we'll discuss uh, later uh, what things show up there that might be of interest.